solve a rational equation, first thing we want to do is factor the denominators. That way we're going to be able to figure out what the LCD is. Once we know the LCD, we're going to multiply every separate fraction by the LCD and make all the denominators cancel out. So this first one factors into x minus 5, x plus 1. The next one factors into x plus 5, x minus 5. And the last one, x plus 5, x plus 1. So once you have the denominators factored out, you're able to build the LCD. And remember, the LCD needs to contain each denominator completely without having any extra pieces or extra factors that you don't need. So what I usually do is I take the first denominator completely, x minus 5, x plus 1. And I'm going to multiply onto that any missing pieces of the denominators from the other two guys. So now I'll look at the second denominator. x plus 5, well, we don't have that here yet, so I'm going to multiply it in as a factor. x minus 5 is already here, so I'm not going to put it in. x plus 5 on the third denominator is already here. x plus 1, already here. So we don't have to do anything to include stuff from the third denominator. All right, so now we have our LCD. What we want to do is take this LCD and multiply it to each fraction separately. So let's rewrite what we have for our factored forms of the denominator in the equations. We've got x minus 4 over x take away 5, x plus 1, plus x plus 3 over x plus 5, x minus 5. So this is just a rewriting step. I'm just rewriting the equation with the factored denominators. That way it won't be too messy to look at once I start multiplying by the LCD. Now every term, or every separate fraction here, is going to get the LCD multiplied into it. Now what I usually like to do is put it straight across so I can think of it as the LCD over 1, so it looks like a fraction, but it's not going to fit here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them on top of each other the different factors. But usually what you want to do is spread it out. So it would be x minus 5 times x plus 1 times x plus 5. Alright, so that's all multiplying this first one. And then the second one here also gets multiplied by it. x minus 5, x plus 1, and the x plus 5. So that's multiplying in to this fraction. And this fraction is also being multiplied by x plus 5. Oops not over, x minus 5 and x plus 1. There. All right, so now we want to cancel. So we're going to have some pieces that cancel out here. The x minus 5 cancel out. The x plus 1s cancel out. And we're left with x plus 5, x take away 4. On the next one, we've got plus x plus 5 cancels out x plus, or no, x minus 5 cancels out, x plus 1 stays, so then we have x plus 1, x plus 3 equals, and the last one we get the x plus 5 canceling out and the x plus 1 canceling out, and we're left with 2x plus 11 times x take away 5. Alright, so all the denominators canceled, and now we have a an equation that has no denominators, and that's a lot easier to solve. So we're going to go through the normal equation solving steps. Distribute first to clear parentheses, combine like terms, and then get all the x's isolated on one side. So let's boil it out. We get x squared minus 4x plus 5x take away 20. Next one, plus x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3 equals 2x squared minus 10x plus 11x minus 55. All right, so large equation, but it's just a regular equation that we're going to solve by the normal steps. Um, now we want to combine like terms, and the first thing I notice is that I have 1x squared here and another one here. I have 2x squared. I have 2x squared on the other side also. So that means I can subtract 2x squared from both sides and it cancels out. So that's nice. 
It cancels out. So now I don't have a quadratic equation. I have a linear equation because I have only x to the 1 power terms. And now I'll combine the x terms. I have a minus 4 plus 5, which would be 1, plus 3 more is 4, plus 1 more is 5. So I have 5x's. Then the constant terms, the numbers, I have minus 20 plus 3. So it's minus 17 equals, and on the right side, same thing, combine like terms. Minus 10x plus 11x is 1x, or just x. And take away 55, just tags along. And then we want to get x's left. And take away x on both sides, cancels out. And that gives us 4x. And get the numbers to the right, so I add 17 to both sides cancels out, you get equal to minus 55 plus 17 would be negative 38. Dividing by 4 to get our final answer, you get x is equal to, and we reduce it to be minus 19 over 2.